Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. Ray Mist in the house once again. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great, and we, my friends, are playing some more Magic Legion. Now, I really hope that everyone's having a great time. As you can see here on the left-hand side, we're upgrading tons of stuff. We're doing loads of stuff and things, and we're up like we're, we're doing really well. Um, so a quick rundown so far of obviously what's been going on. So. All of my buildings are going to be like level 10 at least. Um, I think literally once I've finished upgrading this building right here, everything is level 10, which is going to be great. If we go into the tech tower and we come in here, as you can see here at the moment, at the very, very top, we're getting an extra 9,000 attack, an extra 9,000 defense and an extra 78,000 HP, which is really good stuff, which means that currently we're at level 5 and of both le uh, Magic Attack 1 and 2, um, or should I say Magic and Defense 1 and 2, um, so good stuff. Now that's the quick rundown of that. Now one thing I have been finding out guys, in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to claim these Facebook invite rewards first. So we're going to claim these bad boys and as I say every single Monday, it is Monday so go make sure you inv go and invite 50 of your Facebook friends to get these awesome bonus rewards. Like why not, it's 210 diamonds, 5 gold chests, 13 silver chests and 8 bronze chests. For free, guys. All it takes is 30 seconds to go and invite those uh, friends. Um, and let's go and open them. Let's go see what they, what goodies these are going to entail. So, cool. That's not too bad. 20 runes, more uh, cakes. That, uh, sorry, 25 runes. I can't even see the screen right now. I'm so blind. So, really good, actually. Um, let's go see if I can get any more diamonds, because obviously at this moment in time, the diamonds is... Oh, look at that. My battery's about to die. Let's let's plug that bad boy in. Oh, what? Okay. We just got twin staffs. Oh, yeah. So, now that I'm plugged in, we're charging up the phone. We're getting some more battery. We're going to continue and open up these ones. Oh, no diamonds, really? Wow, okay. Well, we didn't get any diamonds, but we got a ton of... Of runes which is pretty damn amazing and considering that all of this stuff is free you can't really get much better than that and we got the five uh, four to five star hero card so let's go and open up that bad boy right now see if we can get something good okay that's not anything good so that's another 20 runes at least um, so as you can see we got all of that stuff for free tons of runes um, but unfortunately no diamonds and it's diamonds that we're really after right now considering that this is the competition for um or should i say this is the event for spending diamonds so as you can see here <clears throat> excuse me as you can see here we're up to stage 14 in the um i've forgotten the name of this place um dungeons there you go uh we're at level 14 in the dungeons and one thing that i'm finding right now guys is almost everybody has the witch in their team now. Um, and even more so because of this brand new event that does give you the legendary staff and offhand weapon, which gives you the 100% rage to start off the game with. So it basically means that near enough every single person that runs the witch in their team will have those two legendary items on the witch unless they're a little bit silly and they've gone and put the legendary weapons on their actual hero which is a crazy move like just put it on your witch um but because of that that means even more so now than ever before you have to have what the hell is this this guy level 15 and he doesn't even have any troops like really okay so as i say before more than ever it means that you must have the first two spells that i have in my book in my uh build of spells um because they are so 
important it's unreal so as you can see here like look at this guys i have gone through the this whole entire um dungeon and beat every single person on the very first attempt we're really strong now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and claim these rewards so that's another hundred relic uh runes i should say uh i don't think i need either of them souls and a couple of souls there so i didn't really need any of them souls um which is unfortunate but what we can do is we can come in and we can claim this so um i think i'm gonna go for one that is gonna give a better um magical defense or something i think probably or should i go for, let's just go for a hp one um there we go so what I'm going to do with that is obviously quite simply I'm going to go in here and I'm going to give someone some extra HP um, which in fact my actual hero can do with the HP. So let's go with my actual hero with some extra HP and then we're going to be able to give the witch some better HP as well. So everyone as you can see here as well both of my huge huge people are like really kitted out so as you can see here like my main tank it has got all purple with a couple of legendaries arno has got purples well except like obviously the center piece which is a green but hey yeah that's a really hard piece to come by um the war mage is starting to transfer into from blues into purples and the witch is still kind of a little bit low but we're, we're getting there guys so we do have a couple of bits in here as well so i'm just going to go ahead and transfer this oh wow i've got a purple piece there that no one even needs that's that's a bit of annoying annoying but hey never mind let's go ahead and hit this one here as well so because no one needs it there we go beautiful so level five for that which is great so we're still pushing very very strong in every aspect of the maps um which is really cool so let's go over here and what did i want to do um that's what i wanted to do let's go over here and i'll show you here as well guys in hard mode i've actually managed to play um and get all the way up to the mez because it's it's just amazing how strong this deck is now but what we're going to do is we're going to go into normal mode and go over to doom because as i said to you in the other video today and for the next i believe five days i think the the event's still running for um is all about getting diamonds so as you can see here i'm up to the boss and if i beat this boss we're going to get 500 diamonds so we are 100 percent going to beat this boss right now and as i've said to you before having this spell the shield thing uh, i think it's called ward or something um as your very first spell is an amazing spell to have because of obviously it can um negate so much damage um i have actually gone through the academy at the moment to upgrade the spell as much as i can um i'm saving up my runes because I want to make it so that I can spend the 10,000 runes on it and make it like super, super strong. Um, but I'm going to go into the academy just after this and I'm going to show you what I've done. And um, in, like kind of in case you haven't noticed and haven't done it yourself. Um, but it's kind of looking as if we're not actually managing to get many shots on this guy, uh, which is a little bit frustrating um but one other thing that you would have seen that i've done as well is my very final spell i've actually changed it out from the ice uh freezing shardy thingy majiggy doodari one um and i've changed it to one of the very uh low uh academy spells um just because of the fact wow what is going on here why is she not locking him down her magic attack is really high but she's not doing what she needs to be doing. Arno don't seem to be doing as much damage as I was hoping. Finally! Jesus! Okay, now that he's been locked down for a minute, that, that gave me a couple of extra shots. Um, hopefully Arno isn't going to die. Oh, wow, really? Wow, that, that's quite frustrating. 
Hmm. Super close to killing him as well. That's a little bit annoying. Um. Okay. Well, I guess what we could do, guys, just to... As soon as we have so many of them, we can actually go ahead and do this. And we should be able to make it really easy on ourselves. So let's just go ahead and hit every single one of these potions. Um, because we have tons of them because we never really use them. And what better place to use it than right now to make sure that we guarantee ourselves 500 diamonds. Um, just because of the fact that the witch didn't really go and do what I wanted her to do. So let's try this bad boy one more time, see if we can do things and i tell you what we're actually going to do before things go too crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the uh, curse, which is going to make him uh, take more damage. The witch is this time going to actually uh, do something. So let's go and hit this rockfall spell as well. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn him into a pig. Uh, oh, damn it. I didn't mean to click that spell. Um, I, mean to, I meant to click this uh, pig in spell. So now I'm going to turn him into a pig before we take too much damage and I'm going to hit him with my heavy hitting single uh, damage spells which is the um, the shadow arrow, the uh, fire glob and would have been the ice blade or whatever it is on the far end but I actually cast that too early. Um, now we're going to go ahead, like look at the difference in the damage guys, that's insane. So nice and easy once we hit those um spells and gave ourselves like probably something like a hundred billion gazillion damage more than we had before so 500 diamonds looking good looking strong beautiful stuff and things and then we're just going to go and hit this so one other thing that we can do is show you guys what i've done so coming into the um the library what i've done in here is going over into the ancient library now if you come down to the bottom we actually have the ward uh, like four five and six which is really really important that you that you um use these and upgrade them if you haven't already it is going to cost you something like 1200 uh a thousand runes or something but it is well worth doing it because if you fully upgrade um if we go over here if you fully upgrade this you're gonna get yourself 2010 percent of damage uh resistance so that is really really insane um and then if you in uh compare or upgrade it with the spell from the death rift which is 10,000 runes, you're actually giving yourself like 6,000, I think it's like 6,100 um, damage nerf, which is really strong because that's going to give you a ton of bonus stuff. So you can pretty much just sit there with that one spell and because it lasts for 20 seconds, if the enemy can't go ahead and destroy this shield, it stops all negative effects. So not only does it stop damage, it will also stop you from being knocked down, frozen. Um, the only thing that I think I believe that it doesn't stop is like physics, uh, is like the uh, physicality kind of spells. Um, so the spell that the ancient dragon uh sorry the uh ancient droid one creates um and i also don't think it will actually stop you from having the ne negative effect of the magic idol um but you won't receive the damage of it it will just stop your heroes from being able to move um but it does stop the witch from casting her spell on you it stops anyone from freezing you and it also stops you from being knocked over. So if the if the enemy has the um, the ancient thorn, which is like that weird teeth thing that shows up on the floor with the tentacles that come out and start hitting you, um, which knocks you over for four seconds, that will not affect you anymore, which is really, really good. Um, unless, of course, they do enough damage 
to the shield which will make it break um which in my case right now is 2050 percent damage um whereas if you've upgraded it and you have the red shield then you're going to be talking more like 6,000 damage because that upgrade of 10,000 runes gives this shield 4,000% extra damage. So just as standard, you're going to have like 4,400. If you've upgraded the shield anything any more than normal, then it's going to be even higher, which is great. It's going to give you a huge advantage in PvPs. Um, and I would always suggest that you use the shield first because once the shield breaks if the enemy still has the witch or anyone on the field um like such as right now you can see i'm poisoned i can now go and hit purification purification sorry which is gonna um remove that poison bring me back to full damage and i'm gonna be able to continue to attack the enemy without any negative buffs um, having that purification in reserve as well is also really good for if the fact of your shield does happen to get destroyed and the enemy did have the witch on the field on the field still um, obviously you wait for the witch to uh, stun you and then you just go hit purification get rid of the uh, the stun and then obviously proceed to kill the enemy team which is really really helpful so i would always suggest play the shield or play ward first before you play purification um because you're gonna win so many more battles if you do it that way round. so now that being said we're gonna come out of this bit here we're gonna leave this bit we're gonna play the yeah no we're gonna play this i was i was gonna say we're super close to the end but we're gonna leave that there guys what what i want to do is i want to come over here because i want to show you my eggs and stuff so what i've got going on right now is i'm at 49 which is uh sorry 48 which is really really cool um getting this one right here would be amazing now I'm also going to be continuing on through the rest of them because as I said to you before my target is 150 and I don't want to spend any money to go and buy extra stuff. I literally want to do this just by getting the diamonds for free through completing the map. Oh my god this was a good chest. We've just got an Arno guys. This is insane. Like that Arno is worth a thousand eggs like that is pretty damn crazy and not only that but we did get a nice for a uh, purple relic right here which i don't have yet so that's going to really help out my team which is great uh the four the other five star the venom guy now i've seen a lot of people say that the lord of venom is really good for pvps and he is very, very good because of his secondary spell, the uh, Toxic Fog, which it basically it lowers enemies attack and defense by 100 um, while in this ability. But because he only does 100% damage, he's really weak in comparison to what I have at the moment. So I wouldn't use him, but he's a very, very good star in six star hero um this piece right here i'm not gonna need it is very good though um because it increases your attack speed so if you're using anyone like the magic idol or using the dragon princess then make sure you get both pieces of gear of this now the pieces of gear that you're going to need for this is this legendary staff and you're going to need the legendary book um, and that's going to upgrade your attack speed by 30%, which means that you're going to be able to do a lot better if you've got a heavy hitting magical hero. So I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and open up another one of these bad boys, see what else we can get. Oh man. Okay, well this one wasn't as good, but we did get that relic. So I'm quite happy with the relic. Let's go ahead and take these bad boys. Now, we have a little bit of a dilemma here, my friends. Because of going and getting that Arno from the, uh, what you may call it, I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comments down below. Um, whatever you pick, 
is what I'm going to go for. But because of that um, that thing that I've just gone and got, like, let, look at this, guys. Or, in fact, I was going to say I will leave it up to you guys in the comments down below. But we have two picks of a six-star hero. Okay, so forget what I've just said. Or, in fact, yeah, I'll let you guys pick. Do I go for an Arno to upgrade Arno into a level 6? Do I go for a Shield of Doom to upgrade into a level 4? Or, and obviously for my 5 star, because I've got the 5 star, do you want me to go ahead and buy a Witch or a War Mage? But, with these guys, do you want to see me buy each of them and upgrade them? Or should I keep saving my runes for now and go for the shield upgrade? Tell me in the comments down below what you want to see me do. Um, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go for the two heroes though. Especially as soon as I got Arno. Um, but that's going to cost me a thousand runes to upgrade him. And then it's going to cost me another 500 runes to upgrade the shield of doom so that's going to be 1500 runes which is going to put me back down to uh, 4300 which is going to put me back for a long time going after that um shield upgrade but hey whatever you guys want to see me do that's what i'm going to go for so now that we've got this relic right here we're going to put, go put that bad boy on my hero so we're almost completely full on um purple relics which is pretty damn good um why does it want me to okay cool so i can put the legendary ring on her why not let's go do that as well so anyway guys that's going to be it for the video for me today i really in fact did we get something else over here no so tell me in the comments down below as i said before do you want me to go for both of the six star heroes and evolve them both or should I keep saving up for that shield upgrade? And also tell me what you want me to use at the five star hero card pick on. Do you want me to go for the another witch? Or should I go for uh, for the war mage? Or should I just leave this card and wait for the next time that I unlock one of them? And then just pick whichever one I've got so I can upgrade it. Um, but you tell me in the links down below make sure you go over to the twitter and follow on the twitter the links will be in the uh, linky d dinks down there and i shall see you in the next one guys make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button with your left elbow not your right elbow only your left elbow and in the meantime we're going to go quickly hit that so peace on the streets